guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to do an update video for my pitbull puppy that is currently sleeping he is currently 10 weeks uh, old so he gets a lot bigger if you see my first video I'm gonna put it um, link in the bio if uh, you guys haven't seen the video he has grown so 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 much than the first time when we got him um, yeah the last video was when he was around six weeks old and now it's already like he's 10 so he has grown a lot since then so I'm just gonna give you guys an update of what he likes now and just yeah the rundown so we're gonna start off with treats the fun part okay so the current treats because last time I couldn't even tell you guys what treats I give London because he's still really small and he barely can chew anything I think two weeks ago I found this brand from Greece website so their name is Supa as you can see I have tons and tons of their of their I have a lot of their stuff because we love it London love it so much and it's healthy so I don't have to worry if it's not gonna be good for him so these are empty he finished it I wanted to know if he would enjoy it so I let him try it first and if he does then I will put in the video which he enjoys he finished it so I bought a lot more varieties first off is their dental sticks Supa's dental sticks so they have lots of varieties lots of flavors and whatnot but we choose the banana and peanut butter this is kind of his like on some good days he will like it on some bad days he wouldn't but I want to keep pushing and let him try so the banana and the peanut butter and we also got the kale apple and with organic help and the last one is coconut with chia seeds so this helps him occupy himself for 30 minutes ish tops um, he doesn't really enjoy hard toys yet like hard chews like the one I showed you guys in the last video the um, how do you, the antlers he has trouble chewing them like he gets bored or he cannot hold the antler so he leaves it immediately but with this uh, choose he loves it he finished it and it occupies him which is good they're healthy bites this is like a treat we got the healthy bites they call it healthy bites so the good thing also they are grain free I love it and I opened one for you guys so you guys can see this I, we got the carrot and pumpkin the other one is the kale and apple oh, sorry so we got two of these so it looks like this inside and the last one from Supa that I just tried this today and he loves loves it is their how do you call it their, their chews so they call it their chews and this is 100% natural raw papaya and what I love about this is that it comes in an airtight plastic comes out like this yes I opened it already because I wanted to know if London likes it yeah it's pretty simple it's like like papaya see they have the coconut and they have I'll put it in the in the in the screen now they have coconut and if I'm not wrong one more is sweet potato but I give sweet potato with his food so I say let's try something new for him to try because in Greece it's very hard to find papaya for some reason like the fruit it's very hard to find good healthy treats these days because they put so much chemicals so much nonsense that your dog don't need you know for the treats um those are my current our current favorite treats that we love to give london and he loves the pillow he loves pillows you guys look the next one, before I found out about Supas, I gave him the, um, I don't know about you guys, but my dog, whenever he eats kibble, I 
try my best to film when he was he's sleepy so he stays in one place because if not oh my god he would be like jumping all over the place so anyways as i was saying um before i found out about supas i found this um plague it's called plague off i think this is from pro dan so my dog uh, whenever he eats cooked food, his breath is amazing. I don't have any complaints. But when he eats kibble, dry food, I do not like how he his breath smells because it's pretty bad. We don't like it. But the doctor, our vet, recommend him to be on kibble until he's about six months old, which for me is a bit like. Uh, yes or no because it's very hard to find a good nutritionist here in Greece and I couldn't ask advice on how to give proper nutrition for a puppy with cooked food so as of now I have to stick with dry food until he gets a bit bigger and I can switch his food into my cooked food so I have to find another solution I have to find a good dental I don't want to disturb him now because it's his nap time, like prime nap time. So I'm just gonna swoop the camera there so you guys can see him. You can see if he moves here and there, it's because he wants to find his position. Like right now, he likes to stuff his face in some areas, like what he's doing now. So, but yeah, so as I was saying, I have to find a dental stick or something for me to be able to be okay with how he smells because he licks us a lot he all of that he loves to do that to us so that, as i was saying before the supas i had tried these plague off um it looks like this i usually cut them into half or i just give it to him because he likes it like that looks like this but one thing about it is so messy this is this smells like whatever good treats you have for your dog if it smells that means it's better for you I know it sounds weird but it's it's better for your dog but because of that it's just very annoying wherever I put him in the rug I put him in the bed whenever he eats the treat he's gonna smell he's gonna leave like crumbs and and um, like stains from the the green in here so it's very difficult for me to clean after that mess so the supas the, their dental sticks is a savior because they don't smell they are healthy they are um, what else they don't stain on my furniture <laughs> and he enjoys this better because this takes him two or three days to finish the whole thing but with supa in one sit like when he just plays with it in 10 minutes he finished it like 20 minutes he finished it so i'm very very pleased with that so i don't really recommend this it smells and i don't like treats that smells but whenever if if we are to give him a treat that does smell we sh we are giving it outside the house and not inside <laughs> so yeah enough about treats i don't think i have anything else to talk about for the treats that is my recommendation for you guys for this video i don't know if i will find future brands that i would like to try with london but for now that is our favorite treats okay i'm gonna scoot it over Bags. I don't know if it's important for you guys, but for me, I wished I knew like a good brand to go to for uh, poopy bags because cheap poopy bags are the worst because first off, you're wasting plastic, you're ruining the world <laughs> and second of all, they're very, very, very thin and it's easy to break so you might have accidents when you're picking up the poop poo for you ladies who have long nails like I am right now tin plastics are very dangerous because you know once you take the poop you take it and it ripped and goodbye thank god I have never had that accident my recommendation for poopy bags are these Beko bags over here so Beko bags is degradable poop bags 
bigger, stronger, split resistant, odor masking. I cannot tell you better things about it. I'm just gonna put it in the screen. And I bought the 120 scented bags. So they're mint scented, which every time you pick up your dog's poop, smells like mint. <laughs> what else can I say about it? But the good thing about it, what I love it, is that it's big. There you go, see? And this thing, the cool thing about it is that you can put your leash over here. So if you have your leash, you, you can slide it there and it just stays on the leash. The minus about it is very heavy. Very good quality, but very heavy. Heavier than your normal poop uh, bag holder. That's the only downside, but I love their design. I love their how durable it is. I have been trying new ones and see if I can find a better one. But unfortunately, I tried the... Uh, I'll put it in the, in the screen. I forgot the name. But it's basic Poopy Go. Poopy Go Bio Poop Bags. That's the name. I just saw it in there. So it looks like this. It's like a tree trunk, recyclable, biodegradable, lavender scented, bigger and stronger also. So next is the, his drinking bowl. I don't know the importance of a drinking bowl until I have a dog that loves to drink because in the moment when London, when he was six weeks, he barely touched drink, like water. He wouldn't even go near it. like. Thank goodness I give him cooked food because if not, I don't know where his um, water intake will be from because he doesn't drink water at all. Now he's such a good boy he, because of the kibble as well. I, I feel like it's the kibble that he's more... Like he's looking for a drink, like he's looking for water. This comes in handy because you can just clip it in your leash, in your bag, or just put it inside your bag and it's very... It opens easily, you can find it in Amazon, you can find it in any local pet shop. I feel like this is a good investment. His leash. So we got the leash from Max and Molly. It's Max and Molly, so it's like a... I have the poopy bags over here. So it's like a measuring tape. It's like a measuring tape kind of thing. We love it. When Andonis first saw it, he was like, we need to get it. It's the best leash ever. So as of now, yes, we are not using harness. We're trying to teach him how to use a proper leash with a collar. And maybe in the future we will use a harness, but I don't know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, real love this purchase. Very good quality. Um, with his name tag now it's bigger because the last time I showed you guys was from Z Dog. It was very small. He grew out of it like in a week or two. So we got a bigger one and it has the name London there like I showed you last time. And it's just good. And the good thing about this is that it has a chip. So you can uh, put it with your app in your phone and you can find your dog whenever wherever he is. We're going for the grooming. Okay, for the grooming section. For the grooming section, I like this to the brand Animalogy. I'm trying to find the four legger. I don't know. I will put it in the screen. I wanted to try that uh, because it has oatmeal and it's people say it's very good for their dog's skin, but as of now, I couldn't find it in Greece. I will try to find it more maybe in Amazon, something like that. But these are the shampoo and how do you call them? Refreshing spritz for my dog. I picked the perfect puppy. So because he's still a puppy, I don't want him to use a regular dog shampoo. I, I use the puppy one. He sleeps all night. Perfect. One recommendation for you guys about... Uh, potty training that I forgot to tell you. Well, I didn't know about this. I met a lady in our local grocery shop that we like to go every week. So we met this lady, she said, oh my God, your pit bull is the cutest pit bull I've ever seen, da da da. And she said, I had a pit bull too. I have two pit bulls and I just knew about this, but in Greece, pit bulls are very famous, very, everybody has pit bulls in Greece, just to know, fun fact. But uh, this lady told us that it's good for your dog if you guys are potty training your dog use vinegar 
So spray vinegar in his nose whenever he pees on that spot. You have to like spray vinegar in that spot so he will not come back. You guys, I did not know about this. I did like the whole spanking. I did the whole. They say when they pee, make sure what while they're doing it, just carry him and put him outside. Does not work. Maybe because also he's a he's a ma he's a male dog, so he wants to mark everything. Because I know the difference between a a pee and a marking pee. Because a marking pee looks like just this small tiny bit, and pee pee is like a whole puddle, like a whole river. So I I know the difference. So with him, it doesn't work. And when I did the vinegar trick, oh my god. We did that three times. He understood it immediately. Now he would never ever do potty in the house. He would s sit in front of the door in the kitchen. He would sit in front of the door, wait until we open. But the most annoying thing for him now, he did not. He doesn't know how to signal us like "Hello, I'm in the door." You know, he just sits there. So when he sits there and he cannot hold it anymore, he would pee there. <laughs> Because he doesn't like scratch the door or make any noise. He would just sit there. Like magically the door will open by itself or something, you know. So we got accidents here and there but in front of the door. Like literally a puddle in the door. <laughs> I mean. Uh, but yeah. The vinegar trick helps a lot because dogs hate that so if you have cords or you have anything you don't want your dog to chew furniture whatever just spray vinegar you're good to go with my dog sorry mom <laughs> if you're watching this but um my mom is one of the biggest distributor oils essential oils young living oils in indonesia i'm so so proud of her and she gave me oils of course because now I'm a silver member in the Young Living community. I'm so so happy about that. I use I make Savvy Minerals videos, uh, tutorials and everything. If you guys want to see more of that, I will leave my um, my details of Instagram right here if you guys want to see my makeup tutorials and everything like that. But yeah, anyways, as I was saying, I just drop a bit of peppermint or any kinds of oils in the rug, let's say. Let's say my rug. He likes to chew on my rug, like the edge of my my rug. So I just like put a few drops, like a little bit of basil or anything, peppermint, whatever. And he runs for it. He runs. He smells it a little bit and then he runs. So either vinegar or essential oils. Because apparently my dog does not like essential oils. He just like do that sniff and then he goes so that's a good tip for you guys if you have trouble with potty training your dog <laughs> and another thing is um how shiny his coat is i got a lot of compliments from dog owners saying how do you get your dog's coat so shiny what food do you give him i don't think food really matters i mean food matters if your dog shed i feel like if your dog shed a lot of coat like his fur either could be from the type of dog that they are or the food you give so if your dog shed maybe the food you give is not a, um, like your dog doesn't doesn't suit him well or something like maybe try other foods because as of now he has london has no problem of uh with shedding or anything so what we do is we gave we give coconut oil what? Coconut oil? Yes. Make sure the coconut oil is 100% pure coconut oil. It's not like with added um, preservatives, added... Um, I don't know what you add in coconut oil, but just make sure it's appropriate for dogs. Yeah, I just give uh, one fourth of a teaspoon to his meal every day. If your dog is trans, if you have an adult dog and you, you are transitioning with coconut oil, you have to make sure giving it one fourth of a teaspoon then build it up to a half teaspoon and then a one teaspoon so half teaspoon one teaspoon is for an adult dog because he's still puppy just give him one fourth of a teaspoon coconut oil and your dog we will shine to the heavens he will look so 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 healthy and is healthy anyways that we are done now we are going to the fun part which is about um toys so, 
I got lots of toys for him. I got it in this bag. So last time, um, on my haul, I, d I only have one toy for him. I don't know if I have it still. Yes, it's this guy over here. As I told you, in two weeks, it's not gonna last, right? But yeah, it's very bad. I mean, it's not like to the point where I have to throw it, throw it away because maybe it has rips or anything, but he chew his eyes out, so... He loves this, but the squeaker is dead, my friends. The squeaker is no longer there. It used to squeak, this beautiful squeak I love that is not knowing like quack or you know, like the normal squeaker does. But yeah, he gave so much love to this and I said I need more toys for him. So I ordered a bunch online. So I'm so excited to show you guys. First off, we got these ones. These ones, um, these are Beko Pets. Um, I love Beko, it's a good tell. Beko Pets, I'll put it right here. So this is their, I don't know how you call it. It's like crunchy. So you can pull it up like that. And this is made from recyclable plastic bottles. Can you imagine how good that is? Because plastic bottles are very hard to re recycle them. So they use it for toys for dogs. And so this has no stuffing in there. Just lots of fun crunchies for your dog to play with and it squeaks. He's not awake. Look, he's so dead. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Uh, this is my he, he chewed this one so it doesn't scrunch as much. This is supposed to look like this. Really good. When I saw the picture online, I thought it was bigger. It was longer, you know, but when I saw it, I was like, why is it so small? <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's very small, but good toys for puppies, not adult pit bulls for sure, because they're very, um, I think it will tear apart in, in just seconds, but for puppies, I feel like I can enjoy buying cute toys for him now, and later when he grow up, I have to buy him like big, durable, like, I got also these ones. These are from Jumbo. If you live in Greece, you know what is Jumbo. Went to their pet section and they got this cute raccoon, you guys. And yes, he he cut off his whiskers. Like now he has a whisker, you guys. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, this is good quality. Like I love it. I love love it. It's it's very thick. This has a stuffing, so it's not empty. It scrunches it again. I don't know if this, what is it made of? They don't tell me, but yeah, I love the, the fur and everything, but I love this. I feel like this will last longer than this guy over here, the Beko, but I don't know. We will see. This is a new member in the family. So far, he loves it. He's bringing it outside. I have to wash it because all his toys, he just, the kids, with the kids being here now, they play with him like a doll. Like he's a doll, you know, it's not a dog, it's a doll. So he carries him everywhere, play with him all the time, bring his toys outside, everything. So I have to wash all of his toys soon. But yeah, this is good, I love it. Next up is his ropes, my friends, is ropes. I thought this was a good buy. He only enjoyed it for around a week. And it turns out that this he cannot play with us. With this bad boy, I recommend this because with this you cannot pull, you cannot tug, like, you cannot pull, you can't play with your dog. So he's just gonna, you know, he's just gonna play with himself. And okay, some dogs they do that, but London he likes to play with us. Like he likes to interact. So this, my friends, <laughs> It's his favorite toy. As of now, it's his favorite toy. I need to buy more of these, like in every color. This is also, I got it in Jumbo. Very cheap, around maybe four, four euros, something like that. Highly recommend, it's his favorite toy as a pit bull. I don't know for other dogs, but for pit bulls, they love it. Love this. So yeah, I think that is all, you guys. He's so big, you guys. I don't even know how get this big so big so fast 
I don't know if you can tell, but his his fur is shiny. I take pride on that. I'm very happy he he has a very healthy coat. Thing about pit bulls, they say, and I just knew about this because I have a pit bull now, is that do not touch their ears. Like as much as I love touching dogs' ears because I don't know, I find it so pleasing. Don't touch it because if you don't touch it, your dog's ears are gonna look like this. For pit bulls, I'm saying. For pit bulls, they're gonna look like that. It's so cute. Like, oh, I didn't know about this. It's a good tip if you guys really want your dog, your pit bulls' ears to look like that, then don't touch it like at all like don't even like play with it like if you like you have to clean the ears yeah it's fine but like whenever you're touching and playing with him like I'm doing now like I avoid touching the ears so I go to the middle like that <laughs> hey buddy you're sleepy but yeah look this is his favorite position all the time, always. I didn't put him there. He just, he likes it. See, he doesn't move. Or He's still sleeping, but I want him to be able to see the camera a little bit. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching our little puppy update of 10 weeks old. And we will see you on our next video. Bye. Say bye. As you can see, he's awake, so now he's eating every single thing he sees. Hey! Hey, bud!